Hey guys, it's Gene. So I'm doing a production with a theater company and I looked all online and I could not find a creation of a bald cap with hair. So today I am going to create that video for you guys. What I have here is a Galatzen bald cap. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's G-L-A-T-Z-A-N bald cap. It's a bald cap that they use uh, on set for movies and so on and so forth. I think they're, that they work very well. Uh, then you're going to need some crepe hair. In this case, I am using the Mehron, M-E-H-R-O-N, uh, crepe hair. So it's the dark gray that I'm using. I like the effects of the dark gray. Uh, when you open it up, then it you know, it, it's about this long. Actually, it's a, a lot longer. This is half because I've already made one of these already. Um, so I'm taking about the other half of it. What I want to do is, is have the hair around the ball cap. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly start pulling this apart. Okay, as you guys can see, it's coming along just fine. So now what I want to do is start getting my ball cap ready. I've already removed my ball cap, and here it is. It's gonna come inside of this paper here. This is it. I love this, this is really good. It has a little sticker on it to represent um, the front of the mask. So I'm gonna start with So all I gotta do is, is just pull it down. To make things a tad bit easier, I'm gonna go ahead and cut. All right team, so I have it on, and now I need to get the ears out. So, what I'm gonna use here is, so you guys can see that, there it is, but it's nail polish actually. That's all it is, it's nail polish. So the nail polish and this chemical works really well together um, because it kind of burns right through the plastic. You might have more questions about this ball cap uh, and I'm gonna uh, include the answers inside of the description at the bottom so that anytime anybody asks me any questions about it I'll just keep editing my description and that way everybody can have the same answers without having to go through all of the comments right I think that's fair I like this mask that they have because it uh, basically takes any makeup uh, some Ball caps are uh, can only be used with certain types of makeup, but this one you can use any kind of makeup. Now that I've gotten it kind of cut to where I want it to be, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and color the mask. I'm going to color it before I add the hair so that the the see-through part can look like scalp. So I want to make sure that I color it the same color as my skin tone. I am using Theater Makeup by Ben Nye. Of course, this color is for more melanated skin color tones. Gotta love it. And I only have to do this one time. The good thing I like about this mask is, is that I can reuse it. So I just get some spirit gum remover and uh, just remove it. I actually had a wig head and the good thing about the wig head is that you can do all of this on the wig head yourself. And, uh, dress it up myself or just have the ladies do it for me. So uh, we'll see. Now this part here, I'm using two different colors. Uh, I'm using, for me, I'm using espresso bean and I'm also using uh, sack 11 espresso so two different colors because of course my skin tones are never really perfect and get a certain consistency so I'm using different colors the two I'm kind of going between the two different colors so I wanted to not 
use any help as much as possible because a lot of time you'll find that a lot of you will be by yourself doing this and if you want to go in and maybe kill an audition or something like that at least you'll know that hey it's totally possible to do this by yourself as you can see the skin tone is coming together uh, another key thing to do when you're putting your mask on when you're getting ready to glue the back on what you want to do is you want to get the glue put the glue in back here the spirit gun pull it down but you want to hold your head back but most people would think to hold their head down and glue it that's not what you want to do you want to hold your head back and then glue it and once you hold your head back and glue it It'll pull the skull cap tighter. Spirit gum in my hair. And here's my hair. As you can see, it's coming together. I'm gonna take my spirit gum. I hope you guys can see that. It's just spirit gum, just spirit gum. I'm going to dab it onto the hair. Just dab it onto the hair. You have a lot of versatility because the hair stretches. So before it actually really dries, you get to move it into place exactly the way that you want it. And another thing that you can do is, is you can put the spirit glue on the cap like this. Put a nice little amount of spirit glue on the cap. And what'll happen is, I like this. This is a nice little trick. You bring the hair over the spirit gum and hold it down. Hold it down and let it dry. And later on, once it dries, you can pull it back a little bit and it's stuck. So it looks like it's coming from your scalp, which is a, a really good illusion. And I love this... Uh, this hair, this crepe hair, because it kind of imitates African-American beautiful hair, you know what I mean? And remember, once I put this glue on, I can always pull the hair back and it looks like it's coming from my scalp. It's a good look. Even if um, I have a little hair that goes over or onto my skin, I can even put some glue there and uh, you know, it'll have the same effect. Okay guys, so as I was doing my hair, the hair and the spirit gum got onto my fingers. I'm just gonna take a little, what we have here, spirit gum remover. There we go, spirit gum remover. I just uh, pour a little bit in the top here. And I'm gonna dab my fingers in it. I have some napkins here. And it comes right off. Put spirit gum up here first. Now, I'm gonna go in here, get my spirit going, so I can make sure the mask is gonna be glued down. Boom, we're going to melt away this seam line here. So what we're gonna do is, we're going to pour a little of our acetate, and we're going to hold down a little of it. And guess what? It's going to peel away the portion that you don't want hanging. And it'll get rid of all those loose ends. And the only thing that'll be left is the flattened portion of the mask. So I like to always uh, have the mask on a lower point in the beginning because if I want to reuse it, I can. Okay, so I have a little part that's lifted right here and I wanna make sure I get that. So I'm gonna make sure I have my Q-tip wet and I'm gonna come up here and peel off that section so it'll be totally unnoticeable. There we go, it's blended in very well 
And so the magic here is, the good thing is, is that I haven't even used any makeup per se on my skin. And uh, this is coming along just fine. That's why I love this particular mask. Okay guys, here's the finished product. Okay guys, you're not gonna see it here, but as I got better at blending this ball cap, I learned to completely get rid of the cap edge, use the acetate to peel higher into the dried glue area on your forehead. That section will be stuck to your forehead, causing a much better blend. You can also draw wrinkle lines over the cap line to better conceal your ball cap. Hope this helps guys, bye. And all I need to do is add my glasses. Everything is all done. All right, hope this helped. Have a good one. Bye.